Once you receive an IRS audit notice, it is important that you know your rights under an IRS audit. Your rights are described and disclosed to you in the IRS's Publication 1, Your Rights as a Taxpayer. This document gives you a, a summary of what your rights are during the IRS audit process. Publication 1 is available on the IRS's website at www.irs.gov. Publication 1 shows your declaration of the taxpayer's rights and there are eight different sections. Protection of your rights that the IRS employees explain and protect your rights. Section 2 about the privacy and confidentiality of any information that you bring to the IRS during your audit. IRS agents are required to keep that information private and confidential. Section 3, you are entitled to pr uh, professional and courteous service at all times during the IRS audit from IRS agents. Section 4 is representation. You are entitled to representation by either an enrolled agent or a CPA during, your audit, during the audit process. Section 5 reiterates that the IRS desires that you pay only the correct amount of tax due, no more or no less than the correct amount of tax. Section 6, help with unresolved tax problems. If you're still having a problem with your audit, at the conclusion of the audit, the Taxpayer's Advocate Service may be of assistance to you. Section 7 is the appeals and judicial review process. Now, the ap appeals and judicial review process is also explained in more detail on page 2 of the document. And then the last section, Section 8, is relief from certain penalties and interest that might otherwise normally be due on delinquent tax that's due that results at the end of an audit if there's additional tax that has been um, determined as due during the course of the audit. So if you are selected for audit and you receive notification in the, in the mail, one of the first things you need to do is make sure that you read and completely understand Publication 1 because this gives you the, all of your rights to be represented and to be treated and the conduct of the audit by the IRS audit staff and your dealings with them.